man, Woody likes the crooked guy. So, so maybe for Kyle and Derek, this is from my Twitter. Alternative universe Kyle that makes no changes except the TRT. How's it work out? There's there's not only the muscle response to the exercise, but the motivation response. I, I don't know what kind of psych effects it talk to me about. Alternative universe, no TRT. Um, so his ability to recover would obviously be lower. So he would probably be doing less, you know, intensive of exercise. Like he wouldn't be doing as many sets. He wouldn't be doing as much volume. Um, he would be probably changing his workouts a little bit to be more focused on less on like when you're on, it's kind of hard to explain, but sometimes when you, when you're on gear, you can get away with more like volume work and less like progressive overload style. Like, although it is still important, it's you can get away with less less taxing stuff on your joints because ultimately you can facilitate growth with just more volume that you otherwise may not be able to tolerate as a natural. It's a little bit hard to explain because it's like ultimately you could do like high intensity, really fucking heavy with like less overall sets, or you could do more sets with you know lower weights, but still induce a similar hypertrophy hypertrophy response or better. And in general, the higher the volume you can tolerate when you're on exogenous test the better so his like how he would respond not on gear gear it would be like his training would be a bit different everything would be like slightly different but in general i he still would have been able to get shredded he just would have been like probably 15 pounds lighter i would imagine what about the ultimately what would have happened do you think that and maybe this one's for Kyle. If you hadn't had the same response to the exercise or maybe some sort of like, I don't know, TRT glow, just infusing you with enthusiasm. Like how did that, do you think, do you think the, how did that play into it? I don't know. Stop. It played a lot into it. Um, just like the placebo effect, if nothing else. You know, I used to talk about um, the way that we would get ourselves motivated to like get into a fitness kick when I was younger. Um, we do like these six month spurts where, I'd get pretty muscular, like obviously nothing like what I've done this time around, but like six months of working out hard as a natural um, and like getting like vis- visible, like um, uh, like muscle definition and maybe like seeing the top of an ab, like when you're in bed and you're like sitting up just right or something. I remember my mm. girlfriend was like, ooh, starting to get a little bit of an ab there. And I was like, that's a terrible compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you're not fat as fuck anymore. Wow. Yeah, um, you're top 40%. <laughs> but, uh, um, but what we would do back then is we would go and like blow as much money as we could at GNC mm-hmm. on like fucking cell tech and, uh, and, and protein. And uh, there was something about having just blown $250 uh, um, that was like a, there was like a, this, sort of placebo thing or not really placebo this motivational factor where it's like you just spent three hundred dollars on mm-hmm. nonsense get in there and lift those weights like just you can't like you can't yeah. let that shit sit on the counter like like if nothing else work out until it's gone you know like there's a little bit of an effect that comes from that so like um there was just a there was a lot of things that like motivated me to keep going along the way one i really didn't want to let Derek down at all um, two, I, I just didn't like the idea of failure. I don't like that at all. I had set out to do a thing and I, I wanted to get it done. And, um, and like I said, that, that little metaphor earlier about, I've got someone in front of me cutting that path through the jungle for me. Uh, I know that he knows the way out. And as long as I just stay right behind him, we're going to get there. So like, it was, it was easy for me to stay motivated because of things like that. Um, and as far as like, obviously I've worked out without testosterone. I've worked out with testosterone. And I would say like the biggest difference is the recovery. Um, At at first I got, I got really sore, right. You know, like the first few workouts, but after like a few weeks, um, maybe even a month and a half, six weeks, I didn't get sore really anymore. Um, Like, like not any like serious soreness, certainly not that sort of like, Oh, it hurts to get out of bed kind of soreness. Not would, like, I, like you're walking weird after a hard leg day, just never happened like for a day for a day. And then it would sort of be gone. And I think, and, and that, that is probably um, could be attributed to a, n- a number of things that I was doing. Um, I don't know if I told you, Derek, but I take those 105 degree Epsom salt baths for an hour every night while letting that shampoo you sent me soak in for an hour. <laughs> uh, <Yeah>. So like, <laughs> like, like every little thing that, that I could do, because I, I read that those, that those baths at that temperature for an hour burn as many calories as a 30-minute walk. And I was like, 
well, I'm already walking 45 minutes a day, doing an hour's worth of cardio a day. Let's just sit. Let's just use part of the time where we're sitting on our ass to just sit in boiling hot water with Epsom salt. And like, I think that maybe helped with some of the muscle soreness as well. And I always use a foam roller and shit like every day. Um, so I did everything I could to like be able to get back in the gym the next day and just yeah. go as hard as I could. And you did, of course, like push, pull, legs, rest, push, pull, legs, rest, just in a cycle the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even when um, even when I dropped that knife on my foot, um, remember, I sent you guys that video yeah. in the hot, I'm, I'm in the emergency room at uh, like two, three in the morning or something like that, because I was I was literally drinking my pre-workout and I hit the knife and the knife went into my foot. And now there's blood everywhere. So I go to the ER. And uh, when I got out of the ER, I drove straight to the, the gym. I just went straight to the gym and like limped in with like a boot on my leg and like a bloody sock. And they're just like, dude, what what happened? I, I'm just like, ah, I had a little accident. They're like, when? I was like, ah, like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing here? I'm like, what, I'm going to miss pull day? <laughs> yeah, it's pull day. It doesn't matter. The pull pool. day. Come on. <laughs> 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 ah, I ended on that note. I love the that word was the play. best shit I've ever heard. <laughs>